What's crack, lady, fam? It's your boy, Hump No Pump. Hump No Pump. Another show one just for you, fam. This is going to be about um, the situation that's going on in the world, in the world today. About this war with Ukraine and, um, and Russia. Okay? I bumped into one of these, um, these Brandon Tatum type of dudes here. You know, one of these brothers who act like they're so patriotic and things about our country. We, 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 we. I told you before, you got some... Black person always using the word we and ours. Watch out for him. Most likely he's a Sambo. You know, the sellout. So, you know, watch out for what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? So I met the brother talking here. Yeah. What you think about it? I said, what you think about it? You know what I'm saying? He said, yeah, well, this and that. And we could lose our freedoms. And this dude took his go to the whole goddamn run around. Right? Then I told him, I said, um, this is not our war. This is not our war. This is not no black man's war. No war is a black man's war. I don't care for what war they had in America. No, it's a black man war. But we fought in all the wars, right? And fighting in all the wars from um, Civil War, every war that America's had, that Caucasian European just been here, we have fought in their wars. Buffalo soldiers, um, the Harlem Hellfighters, so on and so on. You know, Vietnam, Korea, too. Panama, Grenada, Iraq, Afghanistan, we fight in every war, you know what I'm saying? We fight diligently, you know, because we hit the street that we do what we got to do, you know what I'm saying? But we fight, we go out there with no complaints, we do it, we come back home, really to nothing, to nothing really, you know what I'm saying? Now things get a little better now for um, when veterans come home, they might get more benefits and things like that. But before, it wasn't like that, you know what I'm saying? But we still fought in all these wars. Ain't get no respect at all. Black people are still not getting no goddamn respect in um in America. That's what I told him. Um, the little sellout looking dude, the little beige dude. I thought the beige dude was beige too. That's me. Huh? What you think? You know what I'm saying? Damn sure, right? And um, we have not been treated equally never since we've been here, right? But it would love for us to fight. You know, we are so called thirteen percent of the population, right? Get the other 80 goddamn Sam saying now. It's enough. We don't afford them with goddamn wars. They need to get all these goddamn um, these immigrants coming there, fam. That's what I'm trying to get down to. Get all these fucking immigrants. They come inside the USA, getting loans, getting lots of help. They bring they bring them by the plane loads. You see, they did Afghanistan? They brought all the people in from Afghanistan. What they do? There was no all citizens and stuff like that, though. They were all citizens and things like that. Eh, that's fucking bullshit. That's bullshit. Most of us over there visiting the family when that shit, when um, Kabul took, when Taliban took Kabul, so they were stuck inside there. They see the situation, but they stayed there and waited. And then when come on news, act like Americans was um, left behind. And then you hear some Afghan American talking, oh, look, 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 look. you ain't hear no guy, there, nobody named David John Joseph out there screaming that we all locked in. They was gone. No one was out there, but these Afghan, these Afghan American dudes were gone. But like I said, see, they got these wars and things happen on, you know what I'm saying? They need to have it mandatory, make a law. They could pass a law and a bill so goddamn quick against black people, crime bills, all this goddamn shit. They need some kind of bill where if you want to come into America as um, an immigrant, you got to do two years. Two years in military. Minimum two years. You got to do two years. That's your fucking requirement to come here. If American citizens must come here and sign up for some damn draft, these dudes come here, they should goddamn serve. You know what I'm saying? Serve that red, white, and blue. You know what I'm saying? Get, they're getting three, hot, three meals, you know, three hots in the cot. They wasn't getting that shit back in their goddamn land. You know what I'm saying? Medical, did too, every goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying, fam? Shit. They come over here, they're the high of the hog. You know what I'm saying? They get all these goddamn loans. You see them all bunch up in hoods. And so they, they go all the places like suburbs, Walker. They, they don't. They're not gonna let this anyone hop on that goddamn plane. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna come and say, oh, my name was Mustafa. Look, help me, help me. Come on, come help you. That's bullshit. They know who's getting on that damn plane. Most of them, professional people, you know, who can um maybe help the economy maybe in some goddamn way. Or people with intel and you know, who can give information on what's going on out there and things like that. You know what I'm saying? But for us, we always fight every goddamn world. We don't get shit. What's well, time to ask for reparations? It's like, huh? You know? It's like, you get amnesia type shit, right? 
But I'm going to sit there talking about giving some goddamn immigrants from um, South America or whatever. They four or 5,000 to each family that was separated when the, when the kids and the parents got separated. When the kids and the mother got separated, we get a four or 5,000. Huh? What about they took out the kids and sold them? Huh? Use it for alligator bait. You know, beat the shit out of them, rape them, dirty goddamn thing. They forget about that shit. That had a so goddamn long time, buddy. Like, forgive and forget. That's what I say. You got to worry about these, like, this Brandon Tatum, these little Sambo Bays dudes out there talking mess. Even the, even the darky Sambos, you know, out there talking mess about forgive and forget. We need to do this, and we we all built America with other immigrants on stupid shit like that, dude. <laughs> you fucks out here. You know what I'm saying? Worry about what I'm saying. But um, we're not being treated fair, never. But this war time is going to come, and what they're going to do, like I said in my video earlier, they're going to put the draft out. They'll put the draft out, you know what I'm saying? 18 to 26. They're going to have to. So young brothers can get ready for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Get ready. What you going to do? Huh? What you going to do? I'd say like this, like I said before, I'll be doing goddamn five years in prison, or I'll be a goddamn gander before they can send me some goddamn plane to some goddamn Ukraine to fight a fucking Russian for what? <laughs> Does that no, no kind of American interest in this shit? Only Biden interest. Biden's making money out there. His him is crack his son Biden. They making that cash out there. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Europe is not saying shit. They quiet as a motherfucker. Why? Because they know America's going to hop, hop on, um, it's going to hop to the forefront. Like super, super knuckles. You know what I'm saying? Let us handle Ru Russia. We handle this shit. Let's take it. We are the superpower. We always will be known as a superpower, huh? Always will be known as a superpower. We run every goddamn world around the goddamn world, send our troops, get them goddamn killed, blow the fuck up, and then all of a sudden, it's for what? What did we gain? Uh, what's the gain? Fucking Vietnam, Afghanistan, all these goddamn things. What have we gained? Nothing at all. We ain't bring the goddamn thing. But money inside these fucking politician pockets. You know what I'm saying? You see how this goddamn go what happened? Dick Cheney, Rumsfeld, and Bush. Trillions of dollars was missing. Trillions was missing. You know what I'm saying? Then what he said, he said, oh, the plane hit the Pentagon. That's where the records was with the $10 million, $10 trillion dollars was missing. That shit with the goddamn pockets, they got KBR, they got all these goddamn companies and shit like that. They made a goddamn killing, you know what I'm saying? But I respect that shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Because they spread the wealth a little bit. You know what I'm saying? They did spread, Georgia Jr. did spread the wealth a little bit. You know what I'm saying? For those people's working out there. But it's not correct, though, I'm not saying. But um, thank you. But for all the young brothers out there now, this is not our war, it's never been our war. So don't get the mentality about us and we. And watch out for these. So-called black people come to Sweden trying to want to sell you some shit about why we should go fight inside Ukraine. Ukraine's don't want to fight. Now. <laughs> I'm saying once, once every goddamn Ukraine passes away out there on the battlefield, then okay, maybe you gonna send some other people somewhere. I don't know about that shit. But like I say, I tell you, it's a get crushed up in masses. Our people should not be out there. You know what I'm saying? Damn shit now for no reason at all. You want to give some support, cool. Let them come over with some money and pick up some weapons, maybe some food or some shit like that, cool. That's something different. But like I said, once you start supporting them logistically, then they're going to want some support. And like I said, that's going to bring other nations into this thing. It can spiral real quick. We don't want our brothers out there, you know what I'm saying? We don't want them out there. Like I said, we talk about reparations. They get amnesia. don't give a goddamn thing. But give other people, immigrants, everything. Anything they got them want. They give them every goddamn thing from fucking loans, every goddamn small business loans, every goddamn thing. We can't get a fucking thing. You know, go inside the bill bank, ask for a small business loan. Go down to Chase or Bank of Merck, say, hey, I want a small business loan. They'll look at you like you goddamn crazy. That's why I always say, take your money out these goddamn banks. They're using your money. You know what I'm saying? They use your money. Once your check comes in, we'll draw the whole goddamn thing real quick. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't be a fool. Oh, I got fucking. $800,000 in bank. You know what I'm saying? And so what the fuck that mean? They use your goddamn money like a bitch. You know what I'm saying? You're not using me. You know what I'm saying? Don't let them use you, fam. Like I tell you, this is not our war. This is not our war. You know what I'm saying? Let them fight that shit there. Let them fight it. Like, that's what the old ones did. But you young bloods out there, a different thing there. Young bloods, my well, I'm sitting back with my popcorn and watch it. I was like, I hear that shit, Holmes. When creepy Joe Biden said, time to get fucking drafted, they snatching your ass up. You know what I'm saying? You will get a letter, definitely. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? They're going to they send them off up electronically through fucking email now. Say, fam. It's not the 60s, Vietnam. We can say, well, I get the letter. I was at my auntie house or some shit like that. Nah. 
They send you email addresses, house, every goddamn thing. Make sure you get that goddamn thing, you know what I'm saying? With read receipt emails or any kind of thing, yeah. They will send people to, to the house, it's you no. Know, they will do, do by any means necessary to get your ass out there. You know what I'm saying? And get your idea, fight their wars. Fight their wars. But back home, you get treated like shit. You get treated like shit. I was watching, um, her name was Queen Amora. Amora. She dresses real nice, so it's African wear, no nice, nice dude sister, and nice pretty lips. That's why I watch the show most of the time. Hey, you know what I'm saying? But she brought some good information always. Always. You know what I'm saying? She's probably the best ones on YouTube with good information that I like. That I, I can, you know, get with. And now she, do, she puts it out there. She got one of um, some young girl, a young lady, two years ago. One of her friends in the mall. Still some fucking um, cosmetics and shit like that. You know how girls do. They want to take what they got there. So somehow they got a police chase. The car hits a police car. They all jump out and run. One girl, I don't know, other two got away, I don't know, but the story's most about the lady who got caught. She in the bush. Hiding, hiding. She said for 20 minutes on the phone, talk to her mom. So I don't know, trying to, trying to tell the situation what's going on. Pick me up or something like that. I don't know what it was. I guess she picked me up. They're going to call your mama for So while she's in the bush, Jerry Shepard coming in, K9 officer, jumps out there and starts biting and tearing up. And bit up all in the head. Took chunks out of that shit, fam. Chunks. And she was like, I'm talking fuck them. You, you want to see the fucking brain. You know what I'm saying? A fucking dog. But the fuck ass pig, the punk ass pig, what he do? He was speaking German to the dog. Speaking fucking German. What that remind you of, fam? The same thing the queen said, she said, it reminds us of her slavery or kidnap Africans trying to escape in the bush and send dogs and out their bloodhounds and shit like that right there. I said, fam, that's exactly what that type of shit is, right? But he was speaking German. So, you know, he had to be goddamn German. He's speaking German to a fucking dog, you know what I'm saying? And maybe bring back the Nazis and shit like that. All these goddamn fucks out there in Belgium, you know what I'm saying? The, um, King Leopold of the Congo with the German shepherds out there biting up kids, killing kids with fucking um and people with German shepherds, chopping their arms off, you know. Whole sleeve or half sleeve. Chopping they see the little kids, I'm talking little three, four years old, that don't pick up um enough rubber, you know, they chop their shit off. They got whole they had bags and bumped off fucking big bags, real big shit, like little mountains of fucking arms, right? This is from Belgium, right? But he still got his King Leopold, his fucking statues every goddamn way. Like he's some goddamn, he was so, um, a good person, fam. Like he was a good ass person. He was, this motherfucker, King Leopold, he makes Adolf Hitler look like a fucking Boy Scout. You know what I'm saying? Like a fucking Boy Scout. You know what I'm saying? He don't get the, um, his proper respect, his due in the killing fields. Why? Because he killed blacks, he killed Africans. You know what I'm saying? Hitler killed Jewish people. So therefore, you know, whew, this stuff was out there that, um, in the spotlight. You speak anything about some Holocaust, things like that? It's like, wow. It's, a, it's, a, it's like a fuck. You talk about some religious, religious figure, right? When you talk about the Congo, no one knows about it. You got to read books about it. They don't teach this shit in goddamn school, but they'll teach about the Holocaust. But shit that happen to black people, don't give a goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Don't do it, fam. You know what I'm saying? You speaking to a vet. You know what I'm saying? I was a vet, but I went. I volunteered. You know, I had to. I was eight years old, you know, doing dumb shit street, so I had to. And I enjoyed it. I liked it. I'm not saying don't enjoy the military, things like that. No, no, no. I'm saying avoid being sent to your death. You know what I'm saying? Put it that way. You might come back blowing up arms or any goddamn thing. PTSD, you don't need that shit in your goddamn life. Fuck that shit. Escape that shit if you can. Because it's going to come if this war escalates. You know what I'm saying? It's going to come. But like I tell you, they're not doing enough for us. No reparations at all. They don't want to talk about it. No, like, huh. You didn't fucking stay in Afghanistan for 20 years. Trillions of fucking dollars for fucking nothing. We couldn't pay us off? You couldn't pay us off, huh? The ones who built this goddamn land without any help from any fucking body? Hey, they, it's like another spit in your face, really, though. How you really saying, no, fuck you blacks. That's they tell you over and over and over and over, fuck you blacks. The police out there killing your ass. Now they got the goddamn canine dogs attacking the sisters, biting that shit down. They, they not trying to get, they can't control them dogs. 
They show one other guy that I saw, um, K9 attacked his brother on the street. You know, they sit the dog on him and shit. This dog heart ripping this motherfucker apart. They can't get the goddamn dog, the, the dog off him. You know? I saw another one, dude was in the house, by his fucking house in the front door. The same goddamn thing, the dog just mauled his fucking ass up. I tell you, probably killed my fucking ass. I, I always keep big ass eyes and show me. I've been jigging that goddamn canine to fuck up, stab his fucking ass up. He had to kill me right there. Cause that's what they do, they want to do that, you know? If you get violent with some K or fucking dog, they oh, that's an officer. And um, they'll kill you like it's a human being. But they won't treat you like a human being. They treat you like a, they treat you like an animal. They treat that K9 dog better than the fuck they treat a fucking black person. You know what I'm saying? I saw one thing, it was um, a K9 dog. He passed away, he got sick and died or some shit, old age. He didn't get shot or some shit like that. But that's the biggest, like a fucking, a thousand police still mm, um, marching with the fucking dead dog. I let it come on. Y'all bring this shit too goddamn much in America. You see, it's nowhere around the whole goddamn world, but only America. They're doing some stupid shit like this, marking with a fucking dog. Man, fuck that dog. The fuck out of here. Fuck you goddamn cops, sick of these goddamn dogs on people. You don't see nowhere in the world fucking canine sick and dogs on people. If they made some kind of big riot protest, you might see somebody with a dog or somewhere I mean, like that. But these dudes, they, they on patrol with motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Somebody steal somebody at the goddamn store at Walmart. They might steal a goddamn pack of fucking um, a pair of jeans or some shit. They gonna stick a goddamn canine dog on you. You know, some for the pair of fucking jeans. They love this shit. Dude. They go to work. They want. They want things like to happen. That's what I tell you. Keep your weapons on you. You know, it's always best to be fucking judged by throw me carried by six. I don't give a fuck. We got that dog jumping trying to maul you with shit. Like, hold up, he could arrest you. People they're not really resisting arrest. You know, they they been watching, they love this shit. You know, he commanded the dog in German. So he must be a fucking German, right? That's what I said. I saw a bunch of Nazi shit his ass. His goddamn granddad is probably fucking on a Nazi soldier. You no know, shit still his goddamn blood, you know what I'm saying? The fuck out of here. A lot of these goddamn ones in America, you know what I'm saying? That's in their blood. Or they want to, um, they want it inside their goddamn blood. Why they dogs always attacking black people? Hmm? Ever see a fucking a white lady get attacked by a goddamn police dog on videos? I never seen that shit before. They would never do no shit like that, no. They won't. They won't. You know what I'm saying? These white people shoot at police. You know, shoot at them. Shoot at them. They'll still, you know, let them turn. Let them get arrested without being armed and shit like that. But let a black person do that, you know what I'm saying? Be fucking dead. We see it what happens always, you know. Constantly what's going on, you know. Your life don't mean nothing there, but they want you to give your life for another goddamn some country in Europe. If you fools go out there, you fucking stupid. Yes, that's, that's a simple fact though. It is fuck they had to arrest me if I'm going to some goddamn place, leave my family and go to you motherfuckers. No, I'll be sitting on goddamn Rikers Island, sing, sing, whatever the fuck it I then do my goddamn time and come back home. Fuck you motherfuckers, you crazy as shit. <laughs> I'm trying to feel that's what you think. And a lot of us gonna be like that too. They're not gonna be fucking just run down there. You know, a lot of the soft boys out there, but um a lot of other brothers ain't they gonna be doing that like they did to me and I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna do it. No, fuck that shit there. Like I said, it's cold out there in Ukraine. It was cold out there, you know what I'm saying? You could be laying on the floor shooting and shit there, you know what I'm saying? Cold as fuck. We can't endure cold weather, fam. We can't do it. We don't want that shit. And it's not our goddamn fucking war. You know, let them fight their fucking wars, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say let them fight their wars because like I said, it's not a black or white thing really when it comes down to it. You know, for I'm talking now for our black part, I said shit about the black part, but for it's even our white brothers out there, you know, American brothers, our um, Asian American brothers, our Hispanic, you know, American brothers out there. It's not our shit, fam. Don't get caught in that fucking Democrat bullshit. You know, don't get caught in that shit. When the Republicans was there last term with Trump's to four years of fucking peace. This meathead come inside there now and want to send anybody to goddamn war and to death and to kill, you know. When you kill something, you know, you will always remember it. You know, you always remember it. You may, it wasn't your fight. You was forced to do something that you normally wouldn't do. You know what I'm saying, fam? So try not to put yourself in this situation. I'm telling you right now. Try not to. If you're inside the military now, hey, you got to do what you got to do. You signed the contract. You know what you're getting yourself into. So don't talk no mess. Get you out there and fight. 
but it was just back on the block. Hey, Canada. <laughs> or run down the goddamn fucking Mexico or some shit, dude. Yeah, better do something, I tell you, because she gonna come on the punk fields, it. You know what I'm saying? Up no punk fields, it gotta escalate a little bit more. I'll give you one more week. One more week after the last more than one, more than one, more than one week, we good. If we keep on going on and getting more deep and deep into fucking um, the Ukraine taking everything, get down to the presidential palace near ousting the president and taking over. You better bundle up because it's cold in Ukraine, fam. And I'm out, man. Peace.